Hey guys and welcome to my first get ready with me video. So the first thing we're gonna do is my hair because it's disgusting So I'm just gonna brush through it. This is what my hair looks like when it just dries naturally So it's really stringy and fine and disgusting. So I'm gonna use some Batiste dry shampoo This is the volumizing one. So it has like you know like those texturizing powders mixed through it So it makes your hair feel really stiff and weird, but it works So spray that in rub it into my roots and then I'm going to brush it out to get rid of the grey kind of colour from my hair. And I'm singing along with the song in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Next I'm spraying some of the uh, Sunsilk Keratinology heat protection spray all over the kind of lengths of my hair before I curl it. And I'm just sectioning off um, the top section of my hair from the bottom. So I'm curling it and in the bottom I'm just sectioning my hair into two sections so I'm going to do quite large sec sections with the curling iron. That's a Remington one inch curling iron, as far as I know it's a one inch one. And I'm curling away from my head. And it's really really easy, basically large sections curl away from the head the whole way around and I'm still singing along with the song. And I make like the most angry faces when I curl my hair I have realised. No wonder my boyfriend always thinks I'm angry. What I'm attempting to do here is lift the curl up so that I'm kind of holding it up while it, cur it cools down so um, it doesn't just drop. And yeah, just do that all over your head. This is obviously the last section. And just keep curling away from your face. And that's basically it. And there we go. Angry face, angry face. And then spray the whole lot with hairspray. I'm using the fudge hairspray. And I'm happy because my hair is curled. All right, now it's time for makeup. I'm gonna start with foundation and this is my mineral foundation, the one from the laser clinic. It's called Bicea. I'm taking it down into my neck as well because it's just a tad too dark for me. So just buff that on all over. So easy, it's great everyday foundation. And then I'm just using the same foundation with the 217 brush just to go over any blemishes. And you may have noticed that unholy thing on my forehead, the most gigantic spot I think I've had since I was like 14. Ugh. And then I'm using concealer under my eyes. That's a Studio Finish by MAC in NC15. Just putting it on with my fingers, patting it in. And then setting over the top of the concealer with the mineral uh, foundation the same 217. Next onto eyeshadow and that's one of the Rimmel colour mousses in the colour Glitz and I'm actually recording this narration after wearing that eyeshadow all day and I have to say it's amazing it did not crease at all really excellent eyeshadow oh watch me wake my sexy face oh work it Sharon work it so yeah I brought that underneath my eyes as well as you can see Next, I'm taking some of the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner just in black and a Sigma Angle Brush and I'm just kind of pressing it into the roots of the lashes, drawing a line, not being particularly careful or clean about it. Just taking it the whole way across the, the top lid and then just using a pencil brush to slightly smudge it out just so it's a, a softer, slightly smokier line. Now I'm moving on to the skin and I'm using the Bourjois de Lise de Soleil bronzer on a MAC 138 brush just on my cheekbones and a little bit onto my forehead just to give a bit of a sun kissed look take away the deathly pallor of my skin and for blush that's Cubic by MAC and I'm just going to use that on the apples of the cheeks and just kind of blend it back into the bronzer a little bit And for highlight, that's a Max Emphasize highlighting powder, which is a pro product only. Now mascara, yay for mascara. That's uh, CoverGirl's Clump Crusher Mascara, which is amazing. It is such an awesome mascara. Yeah, I think this has become my new favorite. So I'm putting plenty of mascara on top and bottom lashes. Now for my brows, I wanted my brows to be really natural so I started off with eyeshadow, uh, that's Omega Eyeshadow by MAC and a MAC 266 angle brush. But it didn't really stick to the ends where I have no hair so I had to take Lingering Pencil by MAC just to fill in that edge and kind of lengthen my brows a little bit. And I've been filling in my brows straight recently because you all seem to prefer when my brows are straighter so. There we go. Okay, now just to finish the brows, I'm taking some MAC uh, Clear Brow Set and just combing it through my brows just to keep the hairs in place, but I also find it, it kind of sets the powder and the pencil so it doesn't smudge as easily. 
Now my lips, I'm doing a really dark lip. So I'm starting off by lining my lips with Vino Pencil by MAC, which is one of my favorite lip liners ever. I love this color. And I'm also filling my lip in with that color as well. And then lipstick, it's Media by MAC, which is a really, really matte texture. So it's actually quite hard to work into the lip. So just kind of take your time and layer it on. Don't forget that corner of the mate. And then I'm just taking a Q-tip to get rid of any smudges I got around. And then that's my makeup done! Yay! So now just to finish my hair, I'm just brushing out the curls. Just to kind of soften them, bring all the pieces together and just give it more of a wave. And I'm making my angry face again, oh god. And then just taking my fingers and kind of zhuzhing it a little bit. And Lovely. And then finishing with some more hairspray. And that's it done! Mwah! <laughs> so now onto my outfit, and you can probably tell I'm not very comfortable doing this. My jumper is from H&M, and it's just got like little chain things. My shirt is from Warehouse, boo! And my jeans are by Dr. Denim. So they're a nice green and they've got zip details in the pockets and at the end my belt is from Topshop and my little pumps are from Primark and sorry for the shaky cam they're just like velvet finished with a little bow trim and I love them my earrings are just plain studs from Sports Girl and I'm wearing a swatch watch that I wear with everything no matter what else I'm wearing my jacket's from Primark, it's a Bellstaff knockoff, and I love it, even though the zip is broken, so I have to use the buttons. My scarf, also from Primark, and I love it, I love it, I love it. And my bag is from Sports Girl, and it's got little rose gold hardware, which I love. God, I just love everything. And I almost forgot my sunglasses, my Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I think they finish off the outfit nicely. I harbor a desire to be a hipster, clearly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos. And we'll see you very, very soon. Bye!